leadership team who are available outside this meeting and they will uh, be able to answer your questions as we go through the presentation. I think all the questions will now through the um, chat um, are with our our top of screen. Um, Mi fydd yn y gyfle hefyd i chi ofyn cwestiynau hefyd ar ddiwedd y cyfluniad. Um, we will take questions directly from you at the end of the presentation um, and I'm more than happy to do so face to face, um, so to speak. Um, okay, um, so, um, right, well, um, os gai gyflwyno'n hyn, um, ysgol chyna, uh, gerent pari dwi fydd i pennaeth Ysgol Bryn Hyfryd. Uh, my name is Gerard Parry. I'm the head teacher of a school in Hyfryd. Um, and what I'd like to do is just to give you some background information about our wonderful school. Um, we have got uh, over a thousand pupils here at Bryn Hyfryd. Um, mae gennym ni dros fil o blant. Ar, ar hefyd mae gennym ni ddal gylch eang iawn. We've got a very wide catchment area and uh, we are far from being the high school for everything. Uh, it's a common misconception. Um, it's about 30% of our pupils come from Rhythin. Um, 70% come from all across North Wales. Um, and I think it's that that gives a sculpture in Hyfryd its very distinctive character. We are a rural school. I mean, a sculpture in a llymar mwyafrif o'r plant, well, plant Kevin Glad, at you know, where the majority of our children are country children, the village children. Um, Dan i'n denu plant o rhwng 30, 35 o We recruit students from between 30 and 35 primary schools. Um, and if we can go to the next slide. If we go to the next slide, please, Diolch. Um, dyma dal gylch ysgol bryn hyfryd. Um, this, this gives you an indication of the um, where our pupils come from. Um, it's about a quarter of North Wales um, and it just goes to show how far afield our children travel from. Okay, go near slide Nessa. Can we have the next slide, please? Right. Um, um, I would like to just talk a bit further about a school in Hyfryd. Um, we are a bilingual school, then in a school to Yithag. Um, and my boys are clear on in your path at the a school in Yithag. It's really important to explain what a bilingual school is. Many uh, people um, perceive that it's some kind of halfway house. Um, but in actual fact, it's not. That the Welsh medium stream, um, um, the first language Welsh stream, they do everything um, in, in Key Stage through, 3, largely through the medium of Welsh. Um, and in our English stream, they do everything through the medium of English. Um, in the Welsh stream, and um, through the Gymraeg, um, they will um, have, uh, they will take Welsh language and Welsh literature, GCSE, um, as well as English language and English literature, first language, uh, GCSE, uh, whereas at GCSE from the um, English medium side, um, they would take English language and English literature and Welsh as a second language. So um, it's important to uh, remember that on the Welsh stream, um, that this that is exactly the same as Glen Cloyd or Craven or uh, a school my Scarmon is uh, a Welsh school. Um, so we are in effect two schools under one roof. Actually, um, just dipping back more around Kevin uh, Kevin Deer Archie Destin he a school bring over it. Well, do this one my own school do you think? So a bit more about the background. We are a bilingual school. It's not a middle ground, so it's two, two uh, streams under one roof. And I think it's important to stress that we are a, an, an equally successful school under um, 
both streams. We had a high performing Welsh and medium English school, um, English Welsh and English medium school. To middle in Perth, Arall, Pwysig, Sydd uh, Angen Pwysleisia hyn yma, ydy mae yna natur gymreigaidd iawn i Ysgol Brynhyfryd. Another key thing to emphasise is that Brynhyfryd is a very Welsh school. It has a very distinctive Welsh character. Because the majority of our children are, are rural children, they're drawn from villages and farms across North Wales, um, their first language uh, for many of them is Welsh. And therefore, as you move around Brynhyfryd in the day, you will hear Welsh spoken by our students um, in the corridors, in the yard, um, and as a daily part of their social life. We're very different in that respect to even to Welsh medium schools that, let's say, to the east or to the north, um, where the catchments are far more anglicised. Here, you will, speak, you will hear Welsh spoken um, very widely across the school. Um hwnna nhw lygu hefyd ydy mae yna ddiwylliant creu Cymreigaidd yn yr ysgol. So, there is a very strong Welsh culture um, in the school. Mae hwn yn arwain at y sleid nesaf a mewn noson agored arferol um, mi fyson ni'n gofyn i'r cynulleidfa dechrau cyfrannu ag ateb cwestiynau amser um, uh, efo'r sleid yma. So normally, um, I would, uh, on an open evening, I would do some audience participation and ask you what the link is uh, between this slide and the next. Well, I can't do that audience participation um, online, but the first slide is taking the plunge. And the second slide relates to the Welsh language. Every year, we will have parents of Welsh medium children uh, um, who have gone all their way through Welsh medium education through the primary school. And when they come to secondary school, we have a small number of parents every year who think um, that they, because they are not Welsh speakers themselves, that they might not be able to support their child in secondary education, where arguably the work is getting harder and more technical. Um, and so sometimes they elect to transfer them from the Welsh stream to the English stream. Um, if you're in any doubt about this, um, my advice is, as the penguin slide shows, just take the plunge. If your son or daughter has um, had a Welsh medium education all the way through primary school, the most natural thing in the world for them to do is to continue um, that Welsh medium education. Um, and um, I would urge you to see that as a strength and not a disadvantage um, when they come to high school. A peth pwysicach i gofio fod dyn ni'n gosod gwaith, gwaith cartref sy'n addas un plant. Um, fel sef oedd yna byth sefyllfa lle oedd yna um, rhwystrau ieithyddol uh, yn arbed plant rhag uh, um, cyflwynu'r gwaith. So, just to reassure you, we would never be setting work where the, it, it presents too much of a language barrier. Okay, right. Um, what I'd like to do now is just to tell you some more about the, the school. Um, over, the past, over the past five years, we have consistently been uh, either the highest performing school in all of North Wales or amongst one of the highest for both our GCSE and our A-level results. And the next slide gives you a flavour of that. Um, um, I've not shown uh, this last year's results, uh, but just to give you a flavour, going back to 2017 or 18, you can see there, maths, second best in North Wales in 2018, third best in World North Wales in 19, 
five A star to A, 30 BNAF 34% was the best in North Wales. Um, 2019, five A star to A, second best in North Wales. Um, our Welsh language results are the best in, um, have been the best in North Wales in 2018. Our Welsh second language were the second best in all of Wales. Um, in 2018, our CAP 9, that's the measure for all the qualifications that they take, was the best in North Wales. Last year, it was the second best. And I believe that this year it was, well, I know it was significantly higher. Um, how did our children fare this last summer? Well, I'm, I'm delighted to say that we had our best ever results. The 2020 results exceeded all those. Um, and that's not because we had centre assess grades. Six, um, 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 forty percent of all our year eleven students had already achieved A star to A in their GCSE maths in November two thousand and nineteen. A little over halfway the halfway through a two year course, and they had exceeded all our past records. So I am confident that this year um, we, we would have had the very best results in North Wales. Um, I'm very proud of that um, and I think that a scholar in Hoverid, you know, brings with it a very, very strong and prestigious track record in outcomes. Um, okay, um, can we slide Nessa, uh, Can we just go to the next slide, please? Okay, um, over, the, over the forthcoming slides, I'm going to be uh, explaining our arrangements for setting, for giving target grades, how we organise our learning, and how we will be providing feedback to our pupils. Right, can we slide Nessa? Next slide, please. Right, okay, many of you, um, you're keen, supportive parents, the reason you've attended this presentation is you keen to find out um, about um, what has made Bryn Hyfryd successful and is it a suitable school for your child. Okay, let me tell you about how we will arrange year seven for when they arrive. There are small class sizes um, and those class sizes average between 21 and 23 in a class in year seven in Bryn Hyfryd. Um, the mar dosbarthiata cyfrestru yn rhei gallu cymysg. So the form groups are mixed ability and we set on the basis of ability in the core subjects of Cymraeg on the Welsh stream, um, English, Maths and Science. So we set on the basis of ability in those subjects. And what this means this is a really important point to remember, is that a child can be in set two in English, whilst at the same time being in set one for maths um, and so on. So our arrangements for setting allows them to, um, to shine in the areas of strength and our arrangements for setting means that we tailor the teaching to meet the needs of our children. Educationally, that is um, a fundamental uh, principle that, that we hold uh, very dear. Um, all of the subjects across the curriculum are stability. Can we need a slide Nessa? Can we go to the next slide please? Um, we are highly aspirational for our students here at Esculper in Hoverid and we make no apologies for that. Um, we set them um, target grades that are based on four levels of progress between um, Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 4. So um, if, in case you're not, not familiar with this concept, <clears throat> in the UK, nationally, we would expect about 65% of all youngsters across the UK 
when they move travel from level two to level uh, key stage two to key stage four to make three levels of progress. That's what's called expected levels of progress. So that's what the majority would achieve. Um, we, however, um, don't set targets on what they should achieve or are expected to achieve, but we set targets on the basis of four, level pro four levels of progress, which are aspirational, um, which about 30% of all children in the UK achieve every year. So then in Gossad Grava Target, um, I'll switch it to all. Can you just go back to the previous slide, please? Thank you. Um, so we set five target grades um, on the basis of four levels of progress, um, one for Welsh first language, one for English first language, uh, one for science and one for maths. And then we, we take an average grade drawn from three of those above um, for setting a grade for all their other subjects. So in a nutshell, we are setting aspirational targets for every every one of our children. Okay, can you submit them line here? Okay. Right, our gear slide next second. You go on to the next slide as well, please. Okay. Um Ostach in the board, is covering over the blind, but that big with a hink of our with Yawn ever Sunyad and my or a clenny tusky. Um if you've been to Brin Hover it before, um with siblings, then you'll be very familiar with this concept of learning programs. Let me explain what they involve. We organize our curriculum um, in half termly cycles. And um, for every half term, every child in every subject across our school will have a learning program that is stuck into their book. And what this sets out um, on the left hand side of the learning program are the skills, knowledge and understanding that they will acquire on a weekly basis. That is, what will I be able to do at the end of this week that I couldn't do before? What will I know at the end of this week that I didn't know before? And what will I understand that I di didn't understand or be able to solve or evaluate that I couldn't do before? And what that enables parents to do is to know exactly what the purpose of the lesson, lessons are that week and then support children. So the learning programme provides a route map of learning over the half term. Um, it also includes homework, quite cartref, um, where the osod and line thou, so the, the, the homework is set um, in advance and we have assessments on in blue paper um, and indicated in the blue boxes there that take place over the half term at the end of every half term there is a summative assessment that is it's not a big exam it's not onerous it just tests have our children acquired those skills that we expected them to have they de have they um, developed that and acquired that knowledge and have they developed that understanding that we expected them to over the half term. It basically judges, have we set, have we achieved what we set out to achieve? Okay, can we read the slide, Nessa? Thank you. So the learning programs are the route map for learning. It's the contents page for their exercise book. It's the index to their half term. And um, if you want to help your son or daughter in their learning, then not only is the learning program available in their exercise books, but it's also available to you on our website. So, um, so in this example, go to the um, school website, go to the section that says, what is my child learning in year seven? And you will see a drop down menu of subjects within which um, it will have LP five, uh, let's say the LP for the preceding half term and the current half term. So here is an example from a few years ago. So um Plentin and Dusky, Far This is a very quick and easy way for you to support 
your children's education um, where you can have that overview of all their learning. Okay, good evening, dear. Okay, yeah. Um, every time we um, set homework, it's uh, pre-planned. -pre and um, you'll recall that it was indicated in yellow on the learning program. Um, what we do whenever we set key pieces of homework is that the feedback will be set in the form of set in a question or star in a question. The star um, is a general comment about how well they've done, but the question is a call to action and that question is a, can be a scaffolding question that helps them reach the correct answer by providing some support it will be a dig deeper question if the answer has been too superficial or it will be a stretching question if they have done remarkably well and, um, and um, scored full marks most importantly we provide 5, 10, 15 minutes at the start of the next lesson, which we call question time, when our pupils need to respond to that question, to answer that question. And the reason for this is this. Um, pupils, um, if they are to make progress, progress is all about correcting misunderstandings learning from your mistakes. The marking that we do and the feedback that we provide has to be of value and our pupils have to respond to it. So by routinely correcting their misunderstandings over time, then that is how they grow and how they make progress over time. And that pattern, if we go to the next slide, applies equally, that pattern of feedback and response and question time applies equally to all our assessments. OK, um, at the end of every half term, um, I meet with our heads of department um, and the senior leadership team, and we uh, forensically go through the results um, of those summative assessments. And we identify which classes have underachieved, which children have underachieved, and in which questions they've underachieved. And the reason that we do this is so that we can adapt the next learning programme accordingly. So, you know, maybe despite our best intentions for getting them to develop these skills or acquire this knowledge or develop this understanding, if they um, haven't quite reached that point, then we will know on a half termly basis and we will adapt the next half terms worth of teaching. So we are addressing levels of underachievement as we go. And the other thing that we're able to do um, because we have that information is this. We will be providing you as parents with half termly dashboard reports that summarise how your son or daughter is performing against their target grade across all their subjects. Our parents, when we first introduced this five years ago, warmly welcomed it. Uh, because this meant that there were no surprises at the end of the year. They knew exactly where their son or daughter was and, um, this were, um, and they were able to intervene along the way. And I must say that it is the introduction of learning programmes, that formal cycle of assessment and reviewing and constantly adapting to our curriculum, that is what um, has consistently meant that Bryn Hyfryd's outcomes have been amongst the very best in North Wales um, for consistently for the last five years. Okay, go on your slide, Nessa. Um, right, um, often year one Gavluna, um, uh, Mrs. Glenna Parry. Uh, I'd like to present Mrs. Glenna Parry now. She is the head of year seven and she will outline to you the pastoral care and the transition support that will be available to you and your son or daughter should you choose Bryn Hyfryd. 
Diolch yn fawr iawn am eich gwrandawiad. Thank you for listening. Mrs. Parry. Can we have the next slide, please? Diolch yn fawr. Um, y man is Gobrin Hyfryd, ma yn llawn llaw an llwyddiannau academaidd, mae'n ymbroddiad ni i ofalu am eich plentyn chi. I nod ydy meithrin a datblygu eich plentyn i fod yn unigolyn meddylgar ac anibynol. Hir y Ysgobrin Hyfryd, our academic success goes hand in hand with our dedication to caring for your child while nurturing them to develop and become thoughtful, independent, resilient individuals. Fel rhan o'n cynllun begeirion, mi fydd gan bob un disgybl diwtor personol fel cyswllt dyddiol yng nghyd ac yn haliaeth gan fydd y hun a hefyd gan Miss Llinos Morgan Roberts. As part of our pastoral plan, each pupil will have daily contact with a personal tutor alongside myself and our assistant head of year, Ms. Klinos Morgan Roberts. As it says on the slide, fel mae deud ar yr sleid, mae gan pob un o'r uh, blynyddoedd yn yr ysgol fynedfa a parth cofrestru eu hynnau. Yn holl bwysig ar gyfer blwyddyn saith, i'r ffaith bod gennym nhw fiarth a cae chwarae dim ond ar gyfer defnydd nhw. Mae hyn yn rhoi cyfle i ddyn nhw gael cyfarfod a gwneud ffrindiau newydd yn hollol hyderus gan ddim o'r rhydd a beth sy'n braf gweld ydy bod nhw yn dal i fod yn chwarae gemau da ni'n gweld yn y cynradd. Year 7 have a designated entrance and registration zone and I think more importantly for them, they have a field and a yard for their sole use. Having this area to play allows them to play games that they're used to in the primary and it's lovely to see them playing hide and seek and chase etc. Slade Nessa. Slade Nessa, diolch yn fawr. Felly mae amser tiwtor yn amser pwysig iawn yn y boria ac mae'n gyfle i'n plant ni gael dal i fyny hefo'r athro cofrestru. So tutor time every morning is important for our pupils and it's their catch up time with their form tutor. And as has been said before, we've got very, very small classes here in Ysgolbrin Hyfryd. Slaid nes as well for that. So yn ystod cyfnod y tiwtora, mi fyddan ni hefyd yn dilyn rhaglen addysg personol a chymdeithasol hefo'n disgyblion. Fel da chi'n gweld o'r delweddau'r y sgrin, mae yna gyfoethogi yn digwydd yma, da ni wedi cael gweithdai beatboxio a rapio er mwyn codi ymwybyddiaeth o wythnos gwrthfolio, a da ni wedi cael gweithdai ar graffiti er mwyn i'r plant gael trafod hunaniaeth hyn, ac yn y blaen. So during uh, registration time, they will also be following a PSE programme. As the pictures show, the numerous activities that we do to enrich our programme here at Brynhyfryd. We've had um, a beatboxing and rapping workshop where pupils got to express their feelings about bullying and this to promote um, anti-bullying week. And we've also had uh, workshops where they did some graffiti in order to um, focus on their individuality. Um, efallai bod gen rhai ohonych chi uh, gwestiynau am yn darpariaeth anghenion dysgu ychwanegol ni. Um, yma, ddys yn un eich uh, arwain chi at y cefnogaeth mae Miss Haf Wildemuth yn ei gynnig. Uh, mae hi a tîm profiadol yn gweithio'n agos iawn hefo'r ysgolion cynradd, a da ni'n cynnal rhaglen a nwytho estynedig. Felly, os gennych chi ddiddordeb yn hyn, ydych chi'n gadael i'r ysgol wybod os gwelwch yn dda. Some of you may have some questions about our um, ALN provision here at Ysgolbrin Hyfryd. I'd like to refer you here to our dedicated and experienced team headed by Ms. Ha Wildermuth. Um, Ms. Wildermuth would more than likely already be familiar with your, your pupils um, as she works very, very closely with our um, primary schools in the catchment area. 
Um, at Bryn Hyfryd, we also offer an enhanced transition programme. So if you contact the school, we can arrange that for you as well. Right, and that's whether I bywyd yma yn ysgob Bryn Hyfryd a dim mwyn hard. A dan ifo staff yn cael mwyn hard o weld yn disgyblion yn mwyn hai gweithgar eddai all gyrsiol. So key to um, our school environment here at Ysgol Bryn Hyfryd is enjoyment. The staff gain as much enjoyment as the pupils as we see them enjoying all the different extracurricular activities. Slate Nessa. Uh, we've got all sorts of different clubs that we offer. There's something for everybody. Uh, we've got computer coding, sports clubs, they can, they can join the choir as well. So we're going to need rhywbeth at flas pawb yma o ran yn darpariaeth um, uh, allgyriculaidd. Mae gennym ni gorau, clwb codio cyfrifiad diron, um, clwbiau chwaraeon ac yn y blaen. Y gada sgrin bydda chi'n weld rhywbeth yn y anfell i weithgaredd arall uh, da ni wedi wneud yn ystod y flwyddyn diwetha. Um, Mae gennym ni dyrupiau i Old Trafford i weld y pêl-droed, weithdai STEM a hefyd wrth gwrs pan gwneud i'r cyfle i gystadlu yn yr eir. So you can see on the screen some other um, activities that have enhanced our pupils' experience here at Bryn Hyfryd. We've had numerous workshops, we've had some STEM workshops, we've had some trips to watch football at the Old Trafford, um, as well as things like competing in the air. As part of the induction to Bryn Hyfryd, we offer the pupils a residential course to Glanlin, and you can see some pictures there. We had an absolutely amazing time last year, and we usually do this during the first half term. It gives us a chance for the staff and the pupils to get to know each other. And as it happens within a few weeks, it's also really good for these new friendships to be strengthened. Dani yn cynnig cyfle yn flynyddol un plant fynd i'n eu cwrs preswyl yn Glan Llyn a gafon ni amser bendigedig llynedd. Rydyn ni yn mynd ar ddiwedd yr hanner tymor cyntaf fel arfer ac mae'n gyfle gwych i ni gael meithrin cyfeillgarwch rhwng y disgyblion i'w cryfhau nhw a mae'n gyfle gwych i'r staff gyda dod i adnabod y plant hefyd. Sleid nesaf diolch. Rydym yn falch iawn ond traddiadau'r cerddorol yma yn y Sgobryn Hyfryd, a da ni'n mwynhau gweld meithrin talentau y fro. Da ni'n annog yn disgyblion i barhau eu gwersu cerdd o'r cynradd a hefyd os ydyn nhw'n dymuno ymgymryd a chwarae a fferyn cerdd. Um, mae o yn, yn fydd mawr i gweddill y disgyblion weld ein disgyblion sy'n chwarae yr offer y cerdd yma yn cyrraedd y brig a mae o'n sbardyn y ddynwthau hefyd i wneud yn dda. Uh, we're immensely proud of our um, musical tradition here at Ysgobryn Hyfryd and seeing our pupils achieve and excel is inspirational to our other pupils. We actively encourage our children to take up or definitely to, to continue with their musical instruments. And this is lovely for the others seeing that they do so well. Diolch. Um, yn man ysgobr ein hyfryd, um, mae'n siwbach chi'n ymwyd bod o ystach chi'n edrych ar y papurau bro. Mae gen i ni amryw o dimau chwarion hynod hynod llwyddiannus. A mae'r clybiau yma yn llwyddo i fod yn gynhwysfawr tra'r yr un pryd maen nhw'n cyrraedd y brig. So, as, I, as I'm sure you'll be aware if you read the local newspapers, we have a well-established sports teams here at Scobrin Hyfryd with numerous uh, successes and accolades. And it's, it's brilliant how our sports clubs and teams are able to be inclusive while mm. achieving uh, to a very high level. Right, and the slide you see in front of you is our community slide. A slide that can well talk about if you want to do a slide in the middle of a community. Because er bod ni yn tynnu plant o ardal eang iawn, mi oedd da ni'n falch iawn o'n penthynas ni efo'r gymdeithas. A da ni'n gwerthfanogu'r cyfle i gael ymwneud hefo um, gweithgareddau lleol, da chi'n gweld um, y ras gyrampog efo'n hyn llynedd. A da ni hefyd gael cyfle i um, gael cymuned Cael y plant sy'n feddwl am cymuned yn eu hangach a maen nhw wedi sefydlu um, gwahanol weithgareddau er mwyn codi arian i LSN. 
So if we have a look here, what we've got is some pupils from last year taking part in the Rithin annual pancake race. Although our, sorry, although our catchment area is very large, we still are very proud of our relationship with the community. Our pupils are encouraged to consider the wider community and in doing so they've been able to um, come up with all sorts of fundra fundraising activities. And if I can get the next slide, you'll be able to see we've had a Macmillan coffee morning and uh, collecting for hampers to take to some care homes locally as well. So, so doing solid only, but the dechrad a scholuchrad in um in proviat maur and and gam maur i chi valor hi any akin discoplion. On dani umma ich kevnaki chi. I realise that starting secondary school is a big step for both parents and pupil alike, and I just want you to be completely reassured that we are here for you to answer any questions. Played Nessa. Right, my Rhadlen Pontiar Veroni and Canuis Niver or Wiskerede. I can fortis yawn because Le Edis Gablion Bluthen Quech, though that's an Ian Bluthen Pimp, Kin a Covenant Claw. A Urthilin a Reguidor Ama or a Weld a Chadig Akunamal, the Dani Wedi Huizo e Gals Trusluidiad Esmuith Yawn in the Blunadoid of E. Our transition programme involves numerous activities and I feel very fortunate that some of our Year 6 pupils at the moment were able to come to us while they were in Year 5 to carry out some of the transition activities. Our um, approach is little and often, so the pupils will become um, accustomed to the staff and to the school at their own pace and we will have a very, very smooth transition when they come up to us. Um Sunin Hoffi uh um Sikur Haichi, but Bunagava have a Savishva Covid or Kevin Dara Sidarnani, but the Nyan Kwithyan Akush Yaun have a scolyan kundrath, er moin senior haklan can huisval a cover a plant. Boy ten in session I question a gata prithyol, nay bunin and weld and hithyol are a scolyan kundra the nitro. Um, I'd like to reassure you, whatever happens with the current COVID restrictions, that we will ensure that by working closely with the primary schools, your pupil, your child will have a transition programme, be that virtual question and answer sessions, um, me coming into school, or we have virtual tours of the school. Um, we'll make it as easy as possible um, for them. So, once they arrive in with Manun Kareth, um, Markhunslin Sigenini, a cover and we saw a moist inside a mis mati and in Kunhuis Varyam. I mean, we the plantain and Umgar Chevy Emma and Satin Yam Yam Yam, or found Dudia, Dim Hitanoid with Nossa, or found Dudia, but then what the Umgar Chevy. A Manun Kane Frindian Satin Yam. Do so with Olly Bod, have a dark girl more bowed. Mana ambell yn yn dod o ysgol gynradd ar bennau hyn. I'r pwynt, mae yna gymaint yn dod ar bennau hyn, mae'n gwneud y gwaith o wneud ffrindiau newydd yn hawdd iawn, byddwn nhw ddim yn teimlo ar bennau hyn ein o gwbl. I'd like to reassure you, when your, pupil, your, student, your child arrives with us in yeah. September, that we will make uh, their arrival, their transition, as easy and as smooth as possible. We have numerous activities and your child will feel at home here very, very quickly. With such a vast catchment area, some of them may feel as if they're coming here on their own, but they won't be alone. Many will be in that situation and they will make friends within hours, within days, right? They will they'll become to feel very confident very quickly here. We have had this year had to change our induction plan slightly. However, they still managed to have the full scope of activities. You can see in the pictures here, we've had um, an afternoon of sports, we've had um, art lessons, and we've had some exciting science sessions as well. 
So er bod ni wedi gorau newid yn cynllun eleni ma pawb wedi cael yr un un cyfleoedd ac y blaen fyddwn ni wedi cael um, gweithgareddau chwarion am bnawn o chwarion, gweithgareddau celf a maen nhw wedi cael mwynhau um, arbrofion gwych yn y labordau hefyd. Mae'n anhygoel pa mor sydyn mae'n plant ni'n setlo. A mae'n braf gweld nhw'n ffynu dim ond hanner tymor mae bwydyn saith uh, yma wedi bod hefo ni a mae'n teimlo bod nhw'n rhan ond teulu ni yma'n bryn hyfryd yn barod. Mae fydd yr un peth yn digwydd i'ch ddisgyblion i'ch plant chi. Um, it's amazing how quickly the pupils settle in to our Bryn Hyfryd family and it'll be the same for your child when they join us next year. Diolch yn fawr. Okay, diolch yn fawr iawn, Mrs. Harry. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a couple in yet. Okay, can we go to the next slide? Diolch. Um, ok, dan ni'n cyrraedd, diwedd a cyfluniad. We are now reaching the end of our presentations. Um, we do hope that um, what we've covered tonight um, gives you a flavour of a sculpt in Hyfryd. Um, obviously, it doesn't compare with meeting you face to face. I really wish we'd been able to do that. And I would have loved to have met you personally. Um, but I want to just give you um, uh, just a few final kind of personal perspectives on Bryn Hyfryd. Um, I've worked in a number of schools, I've led a number of schools, but this school is something special. It's an exceptional place. I think we have exceptional children, we have exceptional staff, um, and we have wonderful, supportive parents. I think the lovely character and nature of our catchment um, um, is, is something that is particularly special. And one of the things that we are acutely aware of is, as parents, you have choices. You can send your children anywhere. There may well be even other schools that are closer to home. But we do believe that we offer something very special um, that increasingly more and more people uh, are turning to us every year. Mar Chilmaniata ar ferchog yma ond yn bwysig ach na hynny mae'r plant yn hapus mae'n um, ddiogel ac ar mae'r mwynhad yna. Yes, we've got amazing results, but you know what? That's only half the story. Our young people are lovely, happy children. They are safe here. They are well behaved. And what we are trying to do is to bring them up gently, educate them as best as we can in order that they can leave this beautiful bubble of the Frinkluid and um, step out into the big wide world. And our message to our pupils is, but once you've done that, please come back to us. So, I do hope that you choose a sculpture in Hyfryd. Dwi'n gobeithio nhw chi ddewis uh, yn y sgol ni. Um, felly be yn union y dyr cam nesa. Um, well, felly mae'r ma uh, dull yn, i gyd yn digwydd ar lein. So, what are the next steps? Um, and I do hope that you choose Bryn Hyfryd. Um, well, the application process takes place online um, on the Denbyshire County Council website under the school admissions section. The closing date is um, the 6th of November. I do hope that you found tonight's presentation useful and helpful. Um, and I now would love to open it up to any questions that you'd like to ask um, face to face or, or um, you know, uh, by switching the cameras on. So if you wish to do that, just click on the hand icon and then we can we can um, come directly to you. So the key to the office.